I am to report the date and time is May 16th, year 2024. The sound machine can No, I mean it when I say that. Maybe if there's one thing the public has learned, is I mean what I say. I'm not totally the type of person to far, to go too far off the, the track. Sometimes I think like with everyone else, I exaggerate. Sometimes I might not be completely correct along with knowing I'm not, but just trying to say something, you know? But when it comes to matters this serious, I'm not kidding, I'm making it up. You can never turn the sound machine off. There's sirens and mufflers, and the terrorists keep going in and out of every backyard and standing there for minutes at a time, like up to 10 minutes, just hollering to one another. They'll be like two feet apart from each other and just shouting, like obvious shouting. And they just want to go onto YouTube so desperately. I've never seen anything like it. Um, I'm still being hit with military uh, gases, like around the clock, I'm hit with gases. So everybody knows that includes going and racing Pipu. I've been racing to Pipu at least 10 to seven times a day or more. Um, yeah, so, but I've documented this before. It hasn't stopped, okay? And this is at night. This is any time. I'm just doing something, and then I have to race. I'm going to race to the bathroom because they're loading up every room, and they'll chase me from bathroom to hallway to extra room, just hitting every room. They still have their system hooked up where they can fill each room they want with gas, okay? I mean, what I say, this is a gas chamber, and there are two presidents trying to become elected that protect this. This is part of their presidential duties in their perspective. They won't admit it, okay? And this is what I'm supposed to report. Every day and night, there are like at least four or more helicopters that come and they carry out raids and they carry out other operations. Now, I don't know what they are. Um, I'm not a, a Navy SEAL like that. You know, I said there's Pentagon sisters and then that I am not a Pentagon sister. So I don't know what the operations are, but they're really, really big, big deal, like big historic deal. So anybody who has witnessed th these raids is witnessing major history. And I think you know that you're standing on the corner six blocks from the White House. You're witnessing a major, major raid going on. And it's, it's uh, clear that that's what you're watching. It's loud. It goes for like an hour. I'll, get, I'll describe it in a second. But what I want to say to the people who might be seeing this or maybe filming this, you're standing in the capital of the United States of America witnessing a raid of that bigness. It's really big. It's a big raid. So, yes, you are witnessing history. Uh, yes, I still have no uh, vocabulary recall. No, I'm too traumatized in here. So my vocabulary is not returned yet, so I'm going to use the words I use. When you're witnessing these raids, they're big, as big as historical moments. So this is clear, okay? Historical moment, what you're witnessing, and I'm in here, and I know it too. I'm like, holy cow, this is so incredible. And I even praised God that I was witnessing history like this. But yet, the next day, they're still filling up every room with gas. And I'm personally getting attacked with it, which is miserable for the person who's being attacked with it. And they're going in and out of the yards. Like, they don't stop. Every fucking house that I can hear with an earshot is so loud. Ah, ah, rah, ah, rah, ah. They like to talk really, really loud. They like to make as much noise as they can with anything they can in the backyards when they're there, okay? So you can witness this too, and you'll be witnessing white neo-Nazi and... Eric, oh, excuse me, I have to shout over this thing, it's really awful. An Arabic Muslim ISIS terrorist, that's this compound, so I'm certain of all that, I've been here long enough to know that. And um, last night they did another one, so they're doing them every night, <clears throat> they're doing them in the afternoon too, I'm, I'm witnessing the most incredible history in here. <clears throat> 
And the, the raids are so big, they're so big, like by numbers, sheer numbers big with the helicopters and the, the military guys that are bringing in. It's covert, yeah, because you don't know where they are. I don't know. I can report this, but you do know they're up in the sky and you can stand there and watch that. It's incredible. And they go for an hour. The other night, they didn't leave for like two hours. They had like drones and helicopters just up circling for like two hours it was nighttime i went to bed by the time i dozed off around 10 this was the night before last the drones and helicopters finally left like i mean i need to do an entire video if this is how we're going to do this i guess we are i need to do an entire video to tell the public how big how big how, how big and big and big these raids are okay all right now remember my physical condition what these terrorists have done to me i can hardly speak the english language i know that's what they do to people okay all right so these raids are incredible and i'm very aware of that and then the next day all the terrorists are back like nothing's happening and then six blocks down the street they're still selling ice cream to scared school children. The school kids are scared here. Remember, there's like 40% of our population that is not trying to be a neo-Nazi or wear, um, wear a hijab and be into Sharia law and bring the Saudi Arabia government to rule the world. Like, that's their goal, okay? And that's why in the news, that's all you see is hijabs all right, and how the Hamas terrorists are victims. Hamas terrorists are not victims. They are not pacifist, nonviolent, in any nature sort at all. Okay, their entire towns are built around tunnels and attacking through terrorist means. And they attack other Muslims first, and they attack other Jewish people. Get it through your head. That's what Muslim terrorists do. They really hate other Muslims that don't want to be terrorists. They go after those two first, the Jews and the Muslims. Then they go after the rest, the rest of the world. The rest of the world is evil to them, and they just attack and attack. And so they set up a terrorist cell here in the capital of the United States, and they funded with all the money from Saudi Arabia. This is trillions and billions of dollars from fossil fuels. They funded the neo-Nazi white militias here. So these Trump people, these Irish mafia guys that work with Biden and the Secret Service and so on and so forth, that work in the police departments in the United States, the Saudi Arabian government just gives them trillions of dollars to believe that they're the new world leaders. Okay, these really creepy guys like um, that rapper who wants to be a world leader of porn, but also have world government power. I mean, they're just, they're just skits, it's skits, it's crazy. It's not possible. You'll never succeed at any of it, but this is what you're gonna see in the papers. You're gonna see hijabs, women, Muslim, everything Muslim, everything Muslim. You're gonna see Muslim food. I'm not going after Muslims, but I am telling what they're doing. There's nice Muslims out there. I want them to stay in our country. Let me finish my point. You're going to see Muslim hijab food, food like ingredient recipes. It's, you're going to scroll to look for something from the West. It's all Muslim hijab food. You're going to see pictures of Muslim hijab women, nothing but hijab women. When you see other Western women, it's about having group sex. These Western women, it's articles about how they want to have group sex, how they want to have two men at once. It's all these articles about how they touch themselves and masturbate. It's really, really sick how they're attacking women. Although... I'll tell you from, from being an American, the, the Western women are completely disgusting sluts. The last like 15 years, the Western women have dropped off the cliff into disgusting sluts. We have women who are near 60 exposing their bodies, not only on Sunday, but on Mother's Day. I felt so sorry for that kid. This uh, woman has a kid, uh, some sort of teenage child dependent. I think it's still young. I feel so sorry for people in the United States who have family members who don't want to be part of this. For women 
who are like me who don't I don't want to sell my rear end because being a prostitute your main job is to have anal sex I just don't want to have that folks and I'm certainly not going to sell it sell it to anybody this is fucked up here so yeah it is true you're gonna see pictures of hijab women nothing but muslim women being of course they're victims the whole world is picking on these women wearing hijabs that's all you're gonna see when you look at the u.s press every article with a woman wearing a hijab is a woman wearing a hijab who is a just terrible victim of something she's such a poor poor victim of the world and then you're going to see a western woman who's this disgusting slut who who makes you want to stop reading the paper because it's so disgusting what this western woman is doing and this is really easy to find you can find it today you'll find it every day this is their pattern this is all they're going to do they're going to put out really nasty articles about western women and they're going to put out endless pictures of women wearing hijabs who are just this poor victim of the whole world the whole world picks on women wearing hijabs that's what you're going to see go look right now you'll see what i'm talking about okay i'm frankly tired of it because it's not true i'm so fucking tired of it and then i know what these terrorists do they go after muslims and they go after jewish people so if you're a muslim and you're like i'm a muslim man and you're making my life miserable the terrorists will go after you first the Muslim terrorists really hate other Muslims. Okay, so I just want to say that I'm moving on. So the terrorists here, no matter what kind of raids are going on, are just convinced they can yell and do everything else. Everything else, man, I'm not going to list all the things they do to make noise and be seen and heard and filmed and talked about in their backyards of a world-famous ISIS terrorist cell, which is right by the president's house. And they drive in and out, in and out. And so the whole street... At DC this is why the kids are scared you go down the street and there's 40% of our population that doesn't want to be involved with this so they have kids some of them and you can see them when they're on their field trips here the kids are caught up in this and they don't want to be here they're scared they don't want the fucking ice cream they're fucking not happy here because you have adults around these kids that just drove out of a fucking terrorist cell down the road dude this is the population here, okay? I've been saying that for like three years in writing, man. In English fucking writing, excuse my language. It's really, really serious what's going on here. You got who knows who you're walking past, dude. I've filmed the cannibals cruising the sidewalk. How many times did I film the cannibals walking down the sidewalk? You don't know here who's walking down the street. It's so creepy, dude. It is so creepy. And the noise never stops. So I'm in the terrace cell or at minute 13. All I'm allowed to report, you know, I can't hardly report anything, is that A, I'm alive. Thank you, God the Father. B, the terrace cell is, the terrace cell is still going at full force. And C, there's been raids, historical raids, really big, big, big raids night and day that go for up to three hours two three hours like i'm not exaggerating on that and it's not hard to miss this so come see this when it's happening because you are witnessing history oh and then lastly they don't stop the next day they're all still going full force so i'm pretty confused yes all right goodbye